Hey all, welcome back to Let's Play E6, the Ark of Napish Tim. Last time we started the Lime Water Cave, and this time we will finish up the Lime Water Cave. So first thing we want to do is head out this way. Let's also make sure we got everything equipped. I don't need uh, the blood nail right now, I don't think. So yeah, this is a thing. So this section is kind of the second half of the dungeon, which is technically called the Cave Lake. Um, but yeah, so Limewater Cave is technically two dungeons. But I don't know. That's the way I've seen it anyway, I've mentioned. We want to head down this way where we will find a chest containing an herb. That's why I used one. So, yeah, this dungeon, like I said last time, I don't like it all that much. And the second half isn't nearly as bad as the first half of it. And I want to head up this way, actually. Let's see, is it here? Should be around here. Yes, over here. Cool. And right in here, we got the accessory slot. Sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip the Bell of S Silence. Where is it? There it is. Bell of Silence. Go ahead and equip that. Now you can kill these guys right here. Which is nice. Um. So by the end of this dungeon, you kind of want to be level 37. So I'm going to go about collecting almost every single item here. And taking care of uh, every single enemy I can see. But if I need to, I will grind near the end of it. Not a wild fell meat, nice. He Go ahead, go to my inventory real quick. We're gonna just equip. And we're going to equip. And then re-equip the bell of silence. Whoa, get off, please, get off me, whoa, I don't want to die, yeah, those bugs have killed me in these playthroughs more than most bosses have, level up, sweet, okay, Now that we've love now that we got the Bell of Silence, we can actually take out Yeah, without the Bell of Silence, you cannot take out these guys. At all. So don't even try. And this is gonna be a very common thing in East Games going forward. There's gonna be enemies that can only die to a certain with a certain item equipped. I know this, I've played all of them. In fact, I don't remember if there was one in East 1 and 2. I don't... Maybe there was. Maybe in East 2, but... Seat of Defense. Nice. Go ahead and... Equip that. I mean, use that. Always use your seats the second you get them. There's... No benefit to holding on to them. All 
There's a wild fowl meat. Nice. And down here. I think this should bring us about full circle. Maybe. Again, sweet. Yeah, these bats, because they require the Bell of Silence, are going to give you some good experience. So, they're like bat snail things, technically. I don't know. It's fiction. Fiction's neat sometimes. Let's see what's over here. Up here. Whoa. Get off. Get off. Get off. Okay. Sorry, I cannot be losing to these guys. Okay. Those bugs have killed me, like I said, on more occasion than most enemies in this game have. So they're fun to be around. Not really. Um, though I can probably upgrade my sword at this point. And actually, you know what? I probably should before I do what I'm going to do after this. Money's practically useless from this point, so don't worry about that. But up here... Head up this way first, by the way. Actually, no, not this way. Go back. Actually, you want to head over... This way. Yeah, here we are. Blue potion. This is a very rare item. It heals, uh, how much? 300 HP. go ahead and just use that so I have some health recorded recovered well, I'm about to level up again which is good level up nice and up here is another blue potion this way and you should see more bugs so every time I see those things I feel at least when it comes to bosses like you know I don't have to worry about you know losing all my progress when it comes to these bugs that is a fear I have you 100% have a chance of losing your progress So, could head down here, but there's an optional boss there, so I'm not going to take that on just yet. 
Gonna upgrade my swords first. What I want to actually do, though, this is a dash jump. And like I said, everything that's dash jumped required is optional. I believe. Okay, phew. At least I didn't screw it up here. No, oh, frick. Oh, I'll see you guys back here. All right, back here in the main area. I'm gonna try and do this right this time. But hey, if I don't, you'll just not see it. But I did. Copla water. Like I said, this thing recovers, I don't remember, I think since the blue potion does better, this one heals all HP and status effects. Cool. Um, actually, you know what, I'm gonna port back, teleport back to Port Remorge real quick, so I can upgrade some things and buy some more equipment. Maybe heal up as well. But yeah, now that we got all that stuff, I think we're going to want to upgrade all our swords. So I'm not, like, dying to the dungeon optional boss that I'm going to do before we take on the main boss. But I can upgrade another sword twice. I'm going to tell you right now, we can upgrade two of the swords twice, actually. Do this one, and do this one. That's the least of your concerns right now. You want the, uh, what is it? The Brilliante for the boss. Not the Brilliante, you want the uh, Live Heart for the boss and the Brilliante for what we're doing next. I did not want to save on that file. There we go, that's done. Okay. So the optional boss is near where I dash. All right, so here we awesome. are at the boss's lair. The optional boss, anyway. If this was the actual boss, I'd have concerns. This thing isn't hard enough to be the actual boss. This thing's pretty easy. Probably just here to give you some like extra experience, in all honesty. You don't get anything from it. Well, I do think I should probably... Equip some stuff before. I actually fight it, so. Beat the boss. There we go. Cool. So all that's done. No level ups or anything, though. Sadly, curses don't break. Naturally. But that's fine. So, next thing. I think there's only really one thing left to do is now head to the, uh,. Near the exit is to head to the final area in the dungeon. Which should be right up this way. Okay, let's just uh, go ahead. You know what? I'm coming up anyway. We're not even going to need the Bell of Silence. Or any of this stuff anyway. So let's just go ahead. Actually, I'm going to need the uh, freaking uh, Silver Amulet still. So. But. Whoa. But, you know what? Actually, you still need the Bell of Silence. I lied.
Oh my god. Dark at alls, I tell ya. Well, those things do give some good, uh... Experience, so, yeah. You know, I've never actually played this area without the Bell of Silence, so I didn't know that even existed. Oh my god. Learn something every day. Neat. Cave Lake. So, now I don't need the Bell of Silence anymore. Without the light, I mean. So, let's equip the blood now. Uh, let's equip, you know... Let's equip that. And let's equip the Immo Mallet. Hey, it's geese. Ugh, I'm pretty sure they came this way too. Looks like they escaped farther inside. Damn it! He made off. He made himself some real pesky minion. That's for sure. Minions. That's for sure. Who's he? Hmm. You again. Not just anyone can survive the nasty monsters in this cave. I'll give you that. But you listen here. Tough or not, you hanging in places, running places that don't concern you, is starting to grate on me, my very last nerve. How about you stop picking your nose, poking your nose where it doesn't belong for once in your life? Fair enough. A path leading further underwater, but it's too deep to cross. Suddenly, the Gatha Grathus Talesman at all had, bought, had borrowed from Balsalem began to glow faintly. You know, I could just imagine Boston shouting, You're welcome. Then throwing a temper tantrum because Adol doesn't say anything, because Adol doesn't speak. Temper tantrum. Well, I didn't do that. So yeah, we've arrived at the cave lake. Deep under cave. Whoa. Careful, I need to make sure I can, you know. Well. Number one. Then jump. Okay, cool, made it. Another blue potion, nice. And I'm going to save here real quick, but I'm actually going to head back to uh, Port Remorge so I can upgrade, buy some, just some healing items, I guess, because this next boss is a pain in the ass. I can't really upgrade my equipment yet. But I can buy it some sucks, wild found meat, and I can also buy two blue potions, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Maybe just buy some herbs as well. You know, that way I just have multiple healing items, so I only need one for the boss, really. I'm going to use the wild fowl. Let's go here. Oh, I'm water cave. Now, luckily, from what I remember, because those guys are speaking outside, probably can't hear that though. Okay, let's go save again real quick though. I don't want to lose my progress. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not gonna matter much, but. Grab the mirror. I don't know if I'm going to need to, uh... I can't let you walk away with that. Okay. It's another fairy. Yep, I'm that red guy. And here comes the next boss. I hope I don't die yet. I'm not going to die. For Christ's sakes, I've survived, um... So yeah, now... This boss, you wanna fling the thingies back at him. And not get hit by his laser beam.
I've always found out starting with like an attack like that is probably the best way to go about it. Okay, get out of the way of the laser beam now. No matter which way you slice it, that laser beam will take you out in one hit. So get out of the way of it. Good thing is, looks like we're about to have our good attack back. Yeah, I find this boss to be probably one of the most difficult in the game. Just because it's really confusing. Okay, heal. Now, I probably could have equipped that orb I got in the dungeon. From the optional hardest boss in the game. Because that does just basically give me, like, my attacks back at 100%. But I don't feel like being a cheater. Or, you know, while playing the game a bit unfairly. Here he comes, throwing that laser out again. I'm focused right now, Jesus. I say that and then I almost hit by the laser, don't I? Good news is the fight's almost over. No. Out of the way. go. I just gotta hit as many of these fricks as possible. Hit him. He's dead. Cool. Word of advice, I recommend saving. I can. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Next time on Let's Play East 6 Ark of Napishtim, we will go further into that cave and see what's in there. I will see you guys then.